All right, this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, disassemble this regular and show you the internals. All right, there's a flat here, flat spots here. You can stick a wrench in there. You gotta hold that in place. And there's two uh, holes here. What I do is uh, have a heavy duty needle nose. Just try it counterclockwise. And screw it out till the uh, yeah then actually you could wiggle this out or you push it out if you can't wiggle it out there so you could replace this uh, low pressure side o-ring and your high pressure side all right is uh four sets of disc inside here is your teflon seat all right usually is if you want to clean this and relube it you can you can't really do it unless you remove this high pressure over in here all right the next one i'm going to show you is uh how to remove the valve stem all right, when you unscrew this, you gotta make sure you keep a nine of threads there, how many you got. So when you put it back in, it's kind of reference points where to stop, how far it goes in. And again, I use my needle, no needle nose pliers again. Stick it in one of those holes. Just turn it kind of clockwise. There, get your retainer, your spring, your valve. This is almost exactly the same as the the Cricut valve stem, but it has a little longer stem. But actually, you could use this. All right. And so you inspect it, make sure it's not cracked. It'll clean it up. If you have a leak. You could uh, resurface the ceiling surface and reuse it, All right? Doesn't mean if it leaks, you throw it away. No, you. If you have a lathe, you could uh, resurface the ceiling, you know, ceiling surface and reuse it again. All right. And uh, we'll go to the next video later. How to put it together and set it, and uh, we'll test the pressure on there. All right. Uh, might as well show you this part here. Have it out. So, uh, this lock nut here it keeps your setting. All right. Oops. Now you can unscrew the actual the valve seat. All right. The adjuster. You, you can turn it counterclockwise. And there's the. The male end of the seat. Eh, what was it, man? We probably didn't see me, huh? Well, anyway. The male end, female end. Eh, the air supply goes through here and through and out this hole here. So it kind of, when they meet together, it cuts out the supply end. Right here, man. All right, you gotta change this o ring. If you have it all the way, might as well replace this o-ring. All right. Well, next video, we'll have to put it together. It takes more time or measurements you gotta take to reassemble it. That'll be a little too long. So we'll cut this one short and we'll make another video for that one. Catch you later.